Kate. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Great morning. Barigani. Who'd you get for All right, self-determination. Today is a glorious day. A day of triumph. A day of wonder. A day of teamwork. A day of companionship. We have toiled as a group with such power and force that I didn't need to introduce myself, the day's events or happenings. We knew already. This building in this space didn't need an introduction, a PowerPoint. We knew already. And when we bought the property, and the questions were asked, and the hands were raised or put down. We knew already. And for everyone here, what is it that we knew? We knew that a neighborhood like this was worth more than it had gotten. I knew that a family I was still building was worth the balance. I knew that the team we had yet to find was worth the disappointments. And best of all, I knew all of you would rally together and join hand in hand and arm in arm, not just for a business venture or endeavor, but a very clear and definitive statement that the South End of Albany and beyond controls its own destiny. I see so many faces in the crowd, and we have varying connections, all of us. And through the joy and the laughs and the wins and the successes, there were many pitfalls, traps, efforts of sabotage, mm -hmm. lack of hope and heart in the face of a problem that deals with people, mm -hmm. not money. Mm -hmm. Not publicity, not notoriety, not fame, but people. And these people that I've come to know in the South End, these people that I've come to love at the African American Cultural Center, these people who I've built myself as a man on the backs of, I'm humble enough to say it, we all should be because we do not get to today without so many tendrils spreading out and rooting themselves in the earth so that the entire tree, the entire meadow, the entire forest can be stable. And when I think of the South End Grocery, there's no better metaphor than a lush, overflowing forest, full not just of, of plants and vegetables, but life, teeming with life, finding a way to survive, no matter what, no matter how. And that's what we're doing here today. That's what these people are doing. That's what we already knew. Survival is not an effort that can be stopped by the weary. Survival is not a mission that can be deterred by those unwilling to take a risk. And survival, survival, can be no deeper entrenched than it is in the hearts of black and oppressed people in this country who at this very moment stand on land that was stolen and still has not been bequeathed to the rightful owners after all this time. But yet for these people, who knew when we said that we were gonna buy the former McDonald's, it wasn't a pipe dream. Trayvon Jackson wasn't overextended. Trayvon Jackson wasn't the problem. Trayvon Jackson isn't even the point. The point is all of us from this neighborhood, many of whom have outlived and outexperienced myself on this same concrete. 
now get to walk into a store with healthy food, produce, and groceries at affordable prices that is owned and controlled by people who not only look like them, but give a damn about the penthouse pavement and curve that we stand on. I have cause for joy today. Yes, yes, yes. I spin in every direction and see love, my family, my son, my wife. None of this would be possible without you. Not just in the work, but in the balance that it takes to stand as a man in the work that we have endeavored to do as a family. Yes. That delicate balance between being too angry and too black and strategic and forceful mm -hmm. and unwilling to yield where it matters. And for that, I've gained quite a reputation. One that I'm happy to embrace on behalf of all the people who get to share in this success today. I will go down a, a very short list because so many of you know who you are and I'm very adamant about giving people the credit they deserve or anyone who works with. But I thank Ms. Linda Jackson Chalmers, yeah. President yeah. of the African American Cultural yeah. yeah. I thank the good brother, Mr. Walter Thorne. Yeah. I thank Mr. John Everly of the Community Foundation for yeah. the Catholic Region. John and Emma at Fort Perry Farm, who nearly single-handedly provided all of the fruit produce that was given at our night markets this season. I thank you. Bri. Bri. Thank you. Brian Shelter from Capcom. Conveniently hiding, Sheila. <laughs> Sheila, St. Peter's Health Partners, who most recently closed out our grand opening fundraiser, becoming the signature giver, the campaign leader, and making sure that we got to today in crunch time. So thank you. And how could I turn to this side of the crowd? You know you're going to get it, but I'm going to save you for a second. Mr. Rick LaJoy. Why do you act like, apparently people aren't used to cheering for Rick. I don't understand it, because we are standing here today by no short coincidence of this man's persistence, willingness to educate, and exercise judgment and discernment. So thank you. I must pause on you, Georgette. Every time. Georgette is here on a vacation, taking time away from our family to continue to be steadfast in support of our work, setting up the PA, the scissors, bringing the ribbon, showing that downtown extends beyond the highway and the arterial, and I thank you for that. Christopher Hacker. This gentleman leads Albany artisans who are sprinkled throughout the crowd. <laughs> they are hiding very well. Hi. <laughs> this work would not have been possible without the willingness to commit, struggle when struggle was present, win when wins were possible, and lose with grace at all times. Thank you, Chris, and thank you, artisans. I'll take a brief moment to pause here. I do want to recognize that our mayor, Kathy Sheen, is in attendance. Yay! We are, we are, we have a very forthright and direct relationship, which, for whatever challenges may exist, may be whispered about, may be rumored. 
all bridges start with a single brick and a single board. And with grace, I ask for anyone still questioning, consider this the board and the brick. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. And last, but certainly not least, our team. Please, come up a little closer to the front. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. As much as we extol leadership, as much as we extol public faces, I can tell you with certainty, none of this would have happened without the people right here. None of this would have happened without the training that my wife was able to provide. And none of this would have happened without all of you committing to something bigger than yourselves. I thank you. I appreciate you. I love you. Now, what I would like to do is invite as many people can stand to be that close to one another <laughs> to rally around as we cut the ribbon together and march through the doors for the first time. And in particular, anybody from the neighborhood who I just missed behind someone in the crowd, y'all know the conversation we've had. Come up here. <laughs> Come to the front. Look at there we go. <laughs> Yeah, so, with that, thank you. We will cut the ribbon, and when you get inside the space, we'll be officially open, accepting sales, accepting feedback, accepting comments, and most of all, looking forward to spending time with you in a space that we've grown to love in a very short time. So please, join us up at the front. All right, Trayvon. Can I have you guys stand in front of the mics, please? Oh, sure. Yeah, if you want to come this way. Can we go over a little bit more so it's not right in front of Thank you so much. Can you grab the ribbon? County Executive Daniel McCoy, who is best friends with my son. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can I have everyone look at me real quick, please, and smile? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, whenever you're... We're going to count down on three. Ready? One, two, three. 